Today, we will be delving into the complex world of transient global amnesia, TGA, a fascinating neurological condition that presents with temporary episodes of memory loss. Throughout this lecture, we will explore the various aspects of TGA, including its definition, distinguishing features, epidemiology, underlying causes, clinical presentation, differential diagnosis, diagnostic techniques, risk factors, prognosis, pathophysiology, treatment strategies, psychological implications, ongoing controversies, and its potential connection to Alzheimer's disease. By the end of this discussion, you will have a comprehensive understanding of TGA and its multifaceted nature. Transient global amnesia, commonly referred to as TGA, is a temporary neurological disorder characterized by the sudden onset of memory loss, typically lasting for a few hours. During a TGA episode, individuals experience an inability to form new memories but retain their long-term memories intact. Distinguishing features of TGA include the abrupt onset of anaerograde amnesia, repetitive questioning behavior, intact cognitive functions, and the absence of any other focal neurological deficits. TGA is a relatively rare condition, with an estimated annual incidence of 2.9 to 10 per 100,000 individuals. It primarily affects individuals aged 50 years or older, with a peak incidence in the 6th and 7th decades of life. Gender distribution is relatively equal, and there is no significant difference in occurrence among different racial or ethnic groups. The exact etiology of TGA remains uncertain, however, various theories have been proposed. One prominent theory suggests that TGA occurs due to transient cerebral ischemia, often caused by venous congestion or arterial hypoperfusion. Other potential causes include epileptic seizures, migraines, and transient dysfunction of the hippocampus, which plays a crucial role in memory formation. During a TGA episode, patients typically present with sudden memory loss, often triggered by emotional or physical stress. They exhibit repetitive questioning, where they repeatedly ask the same questions due to their inability to retain recent information. Despite their memory impairment, individuals with TGA maintain intact awareness, attention, cognition, and personal identity. When evaluating a patient with transient global amnesia, TGA, it is crucial to consider other conditions that can present with similar symptoms of memory loss. One important differential diagnosis is stroke, as it can cause sudden onset neurologic symptoms including memory impairment. The key is to carefully evaluate the patient's clinical presentation and conduct appropriate imaging studies to rule out any signs of cerebral infarction or hemorrhage. Furthermore, seizures, specifically complex partial seizures, can sometimes mimic TGA episodes. These seizures involve altered consciousness and can result in transient memory loss. Accurate differentiation between TGA and seizures requires a comprehensive analysis of the patient's history, physical examination, and, in some cases, electroencephalogram, EEG, findings. By carefully considering and ruling out these alternative conditions, clinicians can confidently diagnose TGA and initiate appropriate management strategies. Neuroimaging techniques, specifically magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, and computed tomography, CT, scans, are frequently used in diagnosing transient global amnesia, TGA. Their main purpose is to rule out other potential causes of transient amnesia. It is important to note that in cases of TGA, these imaging studies usually show no abnormalities, such as ischemic stroke, hemorrhage, or structural issues. Therefore, they serve to exclude these possibilities rather than confirm the diagnosis of TGA. Several risk factors have been identified for TGA. Advanced age, particularly individuals over 50 years old, has a higher predisposition to TGA. However, TGA can affect individuals of any age. There is no significant gender predominance, although some studies suggest a slightly higher incidence in males. Vascular comorbidities, such as hypertension and diabetes, are also considered contributing factors. Thankfully, TGA is a self-limiting condition that resolves spontaneously within hours. Patients typically regain their memory and cognitive functions completely without any residual deficits. Recurrence rates are relatively low, ranging from 2% to 5%, and when they occur, they tend to happen within the first few years after the initial episode. Transient global amnesia, TGA, is a neurological condition characterized by sudden and temporary memory loss. While the precise underlying pathophysiological mechanisms of TGA are not yet fully understood, ongoing studies have shed some light on its potential causes. One prevailing theory suggests that TGA may arise from a transient dysfunction of the hippocampus, a crucial brain region involved in memory formation and retrieval. This dysfunction could stem from temporary disruptions in blood flow to the hippocampus or temporary excessive excitability of its neurons. 
While the exact triggers for these transient disruptions in the hippocampus are not yet known, some potential factors include migraines, emotional stress, physical exertion, or exposure to extreme temperatures. These triggers may induce a cascade of events that ultimately lead to decreased blood flow to the hippocampus or abnormal neuronal activity. It is worth noting that the dysfunction in the hippocampus during a TGA episode is strictly transient, with no permanent damage observed. This reversibility has contributed to the understanding that TGA is not associated with neurodegenerative changes or significant structural brain abnormalities. Further research is needed to unravel the precise causal relationships and mechanisms underlying TGA. However, the evolving understanding of the involvement of the hippocampus provides valuable insights into this perplexing condition. During an episode of transient global amnesia TGA, it is important to provide supportive care to the patient. This includes offering reassurance and education to both the patient and their family. Since TGA episodes typically resolve on their own, medical interventions are not usually necessary. To prevent future episodes of TGA, it is essential to identify and avoid potential triggers. Emotional stress and physical exertion have been associated with the occurrence of TGA episodes. Thus, patients should be encouraged to manage their stress levels and engage in regular but moderate physical activity. By adopting these prevention strategies, individuals may reduce their risk of experiencing future episodes of TGA. TGA can cause significant distress and anxiety, not only during the episode but also in its aftermath. Individuals may experience feelings of confusion, frustration, and fear due to the sudden memory loss. However, most patients make a complete recovery, and the long-term impact on their quality of life is generally minimal. Controversies surrounding TGA mostly lie in its relationship with other neurodegenerative conditions. Some studies suggest a potential association between TGA and the development of Alzheimer's disease or cognitive decline later in life. Further research is needed to establish the exact nature of this relationship and to explore the underlying mechanisms. In conclusion, transient global amnesia TGA, is a fascinating and transient neurological disorder characterized by sudden onset memory loss, primarily affecting individuals over the age of 50. Although its exact cause remains elusive, TGA is generally self-limiting, with a favorable prognosis and a low recurrence rate. While TGA poses temporary challenges for individuals, its impact on long-term cognitive function and quality of life is negligible. Ongoing research continues to shed light on the underlying pathophysiological mechanisms of TGA, as well as its potential association with other neurodegenerative conditions.